Hi, I'm Graham. This is my 1992 Volkswagen LT40. Uh, we call her Mona. Uh, we've had her a couple years now. Just got her back on the road. Our plans have changed. And so we're uh, looking to find a new home for her. She is 80, 600 pounds, 10 foot three, I believe. Uh, imported from Germany. Some uh, German tourist actually left it here after their uh, sabbatical. It's four wheel drive, turbo diesel, six cylinder, uh, dual locking differentials, high low four wheel drive. It's pretty unique. Uh, Volkswagen made about five million of the LTs over 20 years, and they only produced 1,250 four wheel drive. So this one is really rare. I'm not sure how many are in the States. Probably 10, 15, not, not too many that I know of. You can see the, the size of these hubs. It's a 17 and a half inch rim. The, uh, the transfer case has a nice factory uh, protection. We also have two fuel tanks, an auxiliary 40 gallon diesel tank. And then that's our gray water tank in the back there. Well, let's uh, check out the inside of the van. So this is the inside of the van. I am 6'2", and you can see that we still have plenty of headroom back in here. Um, this is the fold out bed. a new microfiber cushion very comfy I think it's 61 inches wide by six foot seven long this all just folds out a nice comfy bed this whole top is off of a uh, Florida uh, Volkswagen Florida Westphalia made and they never imported them over here in the US um, the four-wheel drive is a little longer so you can see the section here they actually took this top off of a Florida cut it and stretched it 16 inches so that's why we got that little different color there they did a pretty good job um, most of this interior is all out of a Volkswagen Florida if you've never seen them before you should look it up I think this one was an LT 28 Florida um, this seat here however is a little funky uh, they did not because it's longer they were unable to get the the, uh, the the old seat in there but this is where we keep our batteries so two deep cycle batteries a power inverter and then this other piece here slides down into a second bed we take the table off this table pops off and then that slides down to another bed. We also have another table built into the wall. There's power adapters all over. One of the unique thing about these power adapters is everything is European 220. So we have to use the little adapters. Get your power, same with the short power outside. I have an adapter for it. Just pops in. Um, yeah, the cabinets, they're a little rough up here. Uh, the rest of them are in pretty good shape. These little windows pop and fold out, and stay open. It's kind of cool. So how do your how do your batteries charge? Um I put a, I keep a tender on them, a oh. battery tender, but I believe if you hook it up to shore power, they, they uh, charge through that. So there is a, a, a bigger plug in the side that does charge everything up. It has a, a third battery dedicated just for the motor itself. There's no solar in here or anything. This is kind of a cool feature if someone's into the snow, would be uh, down here, these, this is uh, radiant heat. Oh. And I believe the previous owner bypassed it because it was quite warm. So 
you, you could if you were a snowbird or something you could you know if you wanted to hang out in the snow you'd be able to hook that back up pretty easy so here's the fresh water tank right down here this folds out into the bed for down below here So yeah, we got plenty of storage in this guy up. Um, all these old Westphalia cabinets. There's even more storage up in here. It goes back a little ways. Um, the, uh, the fridge, I believe is a three-way fridge, they call it. So it's the gas, the, the DC, and electric. It's pretty new. I have a receipt for it. Uh, I think the van had engine troubles right after he uh, put it in. It's got a freezer in there as well. Move on to the bathroom. Kind of reminds me of like a ship door. Ready to lock. Uh, this has a nature's head composting toilet. Or no, airhead. Airhead. It's pretty new. Um, has a shower in there too. Uh, I guess it's tall enough for me, so I can make it happen. <laughs> the cooking area back in here. Flame King, two burner stove. More storage underneath here. sink and plenty more storage for whatever we got some optics Those. Uh, the vents all pop up we got one in the bathroom and we got the fan above you This is a stack of receipts we have from the previous owner. There's a lot of stuff that was replaced in here. It's pretty neat, this Westphalia tow kit. But yeah, uh, I think over $15,000 from the previous owner. Repairs and upgrades. So you gotta use like a Google convert or figure out what your kilos are. But basically you can adjust the style here for your weight. Five speed with a dog leg transmission. Uh, you got your four your high, your four low. We got locking differentials front and rear. Um, this was a postal vehicle. We still have our, our postal light switch. Not sure what it quite does. Um, our other lights are up here. And then our uh, kilometers per hour. It's funny. I kind of got I kind of got to know that. That 90, I think 90 is about 55 to 60, which is about floored on flat ground for this thing. So the story of Mona, Peter, uh, Peter bought this van, uh, it was a retired postal vehicle in Switzerland. He took another Volkswagen Florida and did the swap, swapped the interior, swapped the top, went through all the running gear. Um, and built this thing to take to South America. He brought it over here. I don't know how far they made it. I never did ask him that. He had it in the States for quite a while and decided to leave it and take a Porsche home. <laughs> I'm Graham. This is my 1992 Volkswagen LT40 four wheel drive. We are looking for a new home for it. So if you are interested, you can see the email below. Thanks for checking out my tour and have a good one. Thanks guys.